when I'm making this recipe how to do for the chocolate snacking cake, I already preheat the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to make sure it's always preheated. We're going to start by doing for the dry ingredients. I have one cup of all-purpose flour with about a fourth cup of cornstarch. I also put in half a cup of natural unsweetened cocoa, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to give this to a whisk to stir that together. And I want to make sure to give it don't have any lumps of those cocoa. Now we're going to move on from the dry ingredients into a separate bowl. Now we're going to do for the separate bowl. I have here a fourth of a cup, which is like four tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm going to put in one cup of granulated sugar. And I'm also putting one medium egg. Make sure this egg is room temperature. I'm also going to put a four teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And I have so also the secret ingredients. Pure lemon extract to help the cocoa came out for the flavor of chocolate. And now we're just going to give this to a stir. We're going to do it by hand as well. I have here half a cup of heavy cream, half a cup of hot brew coffee. Make sure this coffee is nice and hot. Just keep going to stir. Now all you have to do, just pour the chocolate mixture to dry to the wet. And just going to give this to a whisk until you get a nice and smooth batter. You can smell the chocolate a lot more. Can you see that? Is, is it that easy? Now, I'm going to pour the chocolate batter into the 8 inch square pan that I just already lined in with some parchment paper. It's easy to release. Just move the whisk. Just pour the batter in. And you can look at that batter, nice and chocolate. If you can, you can also scrape down the bowl of size just what you want. I'm going to use with a rubber spatula to give it a nice smooth inside of the edge of the pan. And now we're going to pop this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, after it's just about 25 to 30 minutes in the oven, I took it out and I put it on a wire wire to cook completely. And I like to decide to use a toothpick to insert it into the center of the cake to test it. And it just comes out clean. And you want to just let this cool on a wire rack and then we're going to top it with chocolate ganache. So to make chocolate ganache, I already put in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I just already heat it up that it comes to a boil with one cup of heavy cream that I just Pour the heavy cream that has made it already hot to the chocolate and then you want to let this sit for one minute. It doesn't take that long and then we're going to use the whisk to give this to a stir. As you can see the chocolate is going to melt it together. You want to make sure the chocolate ganache just set before you're going to put it on top of the cake. I let the cake cool for 15 to 20 minutes to make it stands and the chocolate ganache I just cooled down for just a little more and then here's how it looks like what I'm going to do just pour the ganache right on top of the warm cake carefully just spread it on top it looks like the chocolate ganache goes all the way to the top from the pan that I had just already leftovers now here's the optional if you like you can also add some decoration like I have some ribbon sprinkles so I'm going to sprinkle right on top of that because it's going to make it nice and beautifully colored. Or you can also you can sprinkle with some leftover semi-sweet chocolate chips like I have here. Now once you finish you're going to put it into the fridge until the chocolate ganache just set and then after the chocolate just set and then you want to take it out from the fridge and then 
will be ready to serve. And here's the finished chocolate snacking cake. Stay tuned for tomorrow that I'm going to bring this cake at Catherine and Ben's house that I'm going to have it for the barbecue.